Hi guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? Um, it's morning and I'm awake, I think. Coffee in hand. Big cup of coffee. You guys can't see the size of my cup, but it's like that big. I, have, I like my huge cups. Anyways, good morning. Um, what I have in front of me here is a cardboard book that um, a few years ago, Carolyn Doobie, um, I believe it was in her she had a course called permission to play and what she did is she made a book out of cardboard and I've been on this journey this month of trying to get journals completed and off my work in progress shelf and onto the finished shelf and I pulled this one out the other day and I just wanted to show it to you the first thing I want to do this that you see on the front is um, it's actually a plastic bag from Barnes and Noble. Um, I had went there and picked up a book or two or three, you never know, and I just loved the image on this plastic bag so I kept it and I just kind of glued it onto this this cardboard book and I just I love it. So um, what I want to do is I'm just going to add a little bit more paint here maybe to the edges so if you have not heard of Carolyn Doobie, you definitely have to check her out. She's a lot of fun. Um, she just enjoys playing in color. She enjoys playing in paint and just having fun with the process. And I think that's what all of this is about. So definitely check her out. I'm just adding some color. Like I said, I just wanted something different. So we're just going to put some more blue on here. It doesn't all have to be perfect. It's not what this is about. So this little book, it's got... One, two, three, four. Well, the cover and then three pieces of cardboard on the inside of it. And in just a second, I will show you the pages. Because I already did the pages. These were ones just to sit and play. So I will show you those. But I just wanted to throw on a little bit of extra paint here. All right. Done. Let me dry it up real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's pretty well dry. Um, this is just an old piece of some type of a fabric that I've I've sprayed dyes on, and then I just threw on these four beads. They're just they can move up and down. I just wanted something different here. Um, here's the first page. This I did with um, what you see all this texture here. This is um, paper tape. And I picked this up at the dollar store in the medicine aisle and I just took it and scrunched it up and then taped it down and just played around with it. Okay, here's two more pages. You guys may have seen this page on a video um, back in March or April. It might have. I, it looks like a Gina Aaron's design team assignment. Um, just because everything on here is, with the exception of this, is Gina's designs. So that's what that is. This, I just found this magazine taking a selfie with her horse. And I just thought it was kind of cool, so I put that on there. This is just play. I was just sitting here one day chatting with the hubs, and I just started playing with fine liners and paints and just doing whatever I felt like doing. This is some washi tape. And this is out of a magazine. So just playing. This one, same thing. Sat here one day just playing around again with fine liners. Found this girl in a magazine and it says, what's the quirkiest thing about you? I just thought that was cool. And that's it. Sweet, simple, short, to the point. Um, like I said, check out Carolyn Doobie's channel. Uh, I will, if I remember, I will link it in the description box below. If I don't, um, and you would like to see her stuff, just shoot me a comment and I will make sure I get the link to you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Just short, sweet, simple. Um, as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.